morning everybody. Thank you for joining our channel. Uh, Jem's staying home now. She's uh, you know ready to pop up anytime. Doctor said another two weeks, but we never know. <coughs> um, so I'm driving to the land and uh, the main thing now is going we're going to build the septic tank. Sorry, I've got to change gear. <laughs> so don't go away and uh, enjoy. There and I bought some uh, donuts for the boys. I think they will love that. Okay, let's go there now. to take off no. maybe okay. take out if you can yeah very big this uh, this is what's hard about it we encounter those rocks so sometimes they're pretty big to get them out of there but they manage somehow to do that Oh, we're getting there. Now you've got a good idea what we're trying to do. Uh, those ones are just waiting on the side, but they were, there's about another 180 in the front of the property. We're going to bring it here. So, 
so that's what we've been doing all day just uh, digging to the right size for this con uh, for this uh, septic tank and as far as I'm concerned I've been chopping off the rebar that stick out of the piers only a few only three I did <laughs> one two three those rebars gonna be attached to the post that's the Filipino way and I know some of you is gonna say oh typhoon I spoke again with uh, my worker said it's not typhoon here so by the time you reach us it's it's dead so I've done this then I will clean them and probably paint them or something like that and I need to find the best uh, nails sort of a nail if you like to nail this to the timber in different stages along the the length of that it's 13 inch long and that's what we're gonna do you can scream oh my god <laughs> but all the houses are built like that here and I haven't seen anyone uh, flew away with a strong wind so it's all good and I'm gonna make it even stronger so I only done three and there's quite a fair bit to do so I need to buy a big extension uh, tomorrow I'm gonna continue with that I just do a little by little because we still have to wait bloody four weeks for the piece to cure completely and I know the one at the back up there are probably ready to take some load but we're not going to do anything we're just waiting that all of them are cured properly and and then we can put some load on top so we're we going home now but don't go away there's more Uh, just ask them to do the trench just a little bit bigger uh, deeper uh, need to get those walls really strong okay and now we are removing the formwork from the last piece we'll see how the things look like water That's a big pig. Hello. Nice ears. Oh, I scared him off, I think. Okay, so back here again. Okay, talking about water, we're going to talk to a, a digger. This guy's got a truck and he can dig a hole for the whale. Because where we are, it's pretty, it's pretty high. And uh, our new neighbors managed to find water after just over 60 feet deep. So we are probably 100 feet or so if you want to find water. Yeah. Hello, you again. So we're going to find out in the next few days how much it can cost and whether they can come here. Yeah.
Okay, I removed the formwork of uh, two already of the last four and they're looking good. I just had to look around and just wet them. I wet those one as well just a uh, half hour ago and those one are coming off. And then I will start cutting those things 13 inch long. Those rebar, I will clean them. I will put a, a an anti-rust paint on top of it <clears throat> and here I will put some galvanized sheet to keep the timber away from uh, from the concrete so that's the plan today plus the septic tank where we hopefully we should be concreting um, the base of the hollow block Okay, I asked them to make a ladder. At last they've done it. <laughs> and then they will try to remove those uh, big rocks as well. But first they want to concrete all around. Putting the rebound position, the one, the vertical one, it's a bit of a uh, time consuming you got to make sure they're on the right position rainy again I think we've probably been lucky with the weather doing those uh, piers or column um, it hasn't been sunny hot as such which is good so I haven't seen any crack yet touch wood uh, the one at the back has been done already five weeks all no problem no problem. So now we're putting the hollow blocks in the septic tank. And I can't wait tomorrow Sunday, I can have a rest. I feel so tired. 
yesterday afternoon I didn't come back I just lie down on the sofa after a quick bath and I just couldn't get up <laughs> can't wait so long <laughs> have a beer in my veranda maybe May April May I think we only use two to four people now it's gonna be two people mostly so it's gonna be very slow very slow so what I know a lot of people complain it's getting too slow blah 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 but this is this is my house you know it's, that's the way that's the rhythm at the moment and that's okay I'm happy with that I don't mind why should rush you know labor's cost is very small compared to material and all and all the rest so and uh, if I want to keep some kind of control um, like this morning uh, he was start doing things wrong so I asked him to increase the length of the ladder so I can go down because with my back I need some support something to hold on and I had to show him uh, the mixture of the of the cement I did some reclaiming for a year when I first arrived in Australia I couldn't speak English so I had to do anything and I was lucky I had Italian friends Italian Spanish friends they're all in the construction industry bricklaying and that's where I got a job so I did concreting first and then I started putting brick together so I know how to mix the cement and things like that um, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, he wasn't doing very well. Um, so anyway, that that's the way it is. So anyway, I hope as much as I can. As I say, I'm not a builder, but there's a lot of uh, um, YouTube video up there we can look at. And I've been looking for a few before we start the septic tank. And. Uh, that's what I'm gonna try to achieve is the average that I've seen in those YouTube video yeah. that's probably the most uh, challenging job septic tank and the piers and I guess once this is out of the way uh, you know it should go quite quick I already cut uh, cut those um, rebar to the right height already very quickly I know I got 16 more to do but it's quickly done and then I will brush and, and clean the rust and, and put a, a primer, uh, you know, that anti-rust paint. And then I need to have a look at the top of the piece and make sure it's all flattened. If not, I'll have to grind a little bit and flatten it so the timber sit nicely. And I will cut some piece of uh, galvanized shim uh, to put in between the timber and the concrete. So, yeah, that, that's what we need to do at the moment. And also tonight at home, I'm going to work it out all the size of all the timber we need uh, to finish the house, as timber is concerned. Um, hopefully, they're going to start cutting the timber and the lumber, uh, say, uh, Monday, I would say. So I will bring those sizes on Monday. Yeah, so that's probably what's happening, yeah? Yeah, once the septic tank piece are completed, it's the rest uh, should go quite easily. Just the roof, but I'm thinking when I buy the roof, I just get a team of experienced roof installer to do that. I'm not going to use them. I don't want to get any more nightmares. So yeah, we get a roof installer uh, to do that. The one who's got the experience and I will use the right screw yep more water and it's raining it's okay it's good to work like this anyway it's cooler i'll just show you around it's beautiful here i love it Drizzling, it's welcome.
Yeah, that's it for the weekend. Um, we have a rest. So we'll be back and continue with the septic tank. I'm sure JM will love to have those one after. For sure we'll have some. Definitely. That's it for today. It's raining so we have to do half a day. Rainy season is really slowing everything down.